rarely does it end up making its way back to me. You know, there have been years where I haven't even gotten, you know, hardly any feedback on something we've done, and then someone will come up to me a year later, oh, that's all I ever hear about. Cool. Are you hear a good thing? Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> so I, I just, I gotta do it for my own sanity. Um, but I'll give you uh, a, a little bit of a, we, we always do a Google form, and I'll, I'll give you one of those kind of when we get back, but I also wanted some of that raw feedback. This is all really new, but it's just been so fun on tour, just getting to know people like more through, you know, all of the things and the experiences we share together and just our love for music just um, keeps us all just really connected and close with each other. When you're doing rehearsal every day, you're not really interacting with everyone in the choir. You're kind of sticking with your own group of friends, you're going in, you're rehearsing, but then when you go on a tour like this, everyone is experiencing the same thing. You're all going out and doing these really cool things, doing really cool clinics. I mean, choir is a community that makes sense, but like, there are always the different cliques and like, people who, like, music is like gonna be their career path versus music is just like, kind of a fun thing they like to sort of participate in sometimes. And I think tonight everybody got to be together and sing super crazy loud on the buses and like dance together to musicians upstairs. Like I, I just think it was a it was a good bonding experience and I had fun with people I didn't think I would have fun with. And then we also got to perform with a another choir tonight. Um, but they also knew the song so it was really cool to see how music like everywhere is the same. Even if we live in like different places, it's really cool to see um, music all sprouts from the same place and we all have that in common. I think what the choir trips provide to the students is it provides like such a great cultural experience that for I mean most of the time this is the first this is the first time that any of us are ever coming to like Nashville or Chicago or Los Angeles or, or, or wherever we go and I think what's so great about these choir trips is that it provides us an environment in which we can experience a new culture together and all bond together and I think that's really beautiful and you know when we're all like graduated from high school one day and some of y'all like will be soon um, this is the stuff that we will end up remembering and I think that's really special and like all of that I feel like brings everyone together and it definitely makes it more communal like just like a few hours ago at the at the bar like that was really cool like dancing with all the blues and jazz musicians like that was really really fun and I think it's really great to have this kind of this, these kinds of new experiences when we're going through high school and this kind of stuff. Because honestly, I feel like choir trips are probably the most important part of high school. And it's something you're not going to get just showing up to a rehearsal. And it's something you have to go to a new place, experience new things, new cultures, and it really brings people together. And I think that's really important and what helps make this really fun. Hello, this is Room 302, and uh, we're just here to talk about our favorite part of the trip. Uh, hit, it, hit it, James. Uh, my favorite part of the trip was all the adventures with Dirty Buzz and the boys. Uh, my favorite part of the trip was when we got uh, tuna sub sandwiches. <coughs> favorite part of the trip was a uh, recording session with Megan, Lindsay, and Rex Trow. Hello, dog. Okay. No? All right. Uh, anyone else? Roll Tide, everyone. That's Nashville.